Uh, hi, I'm Skinny Cheeks. This video will be showing the trifecta for Scrivener's Hall. This is the no death hard mode speed run achievement. I thought some people would find it beneficial to have a look at the strategies we used. And I'll also be putting the gear up on the screen that I used for each fight. I wasn't going for min maxed setups to just get the most DPS. As you've heard me say plenty of times before, always adjust for your situation. So we had the goal of getting the trifectas and these are the setups that I landed on with that in mind. This is from a stamina Dragonite perspective. And as I was the only DK in the group, this is why you'll see me running igneous weapons for all the encounters to provide the group with major brutality and sorcery. This did make my bar space a little tight, so you'll see some unusual looking loadouts that I ended up with. For most of this, I'll just leave the original commentary from the run, but I might chime in now and then to explain something that I felt might be worth clarifying. So for trash, I was using Sulkzon and Plague Break all throughout with a One Piece Falcon and the Mora's Whispers Mythic. You'll see I'm also using Quick Cloak instead of Deadly Cloak. This is for the speed boost on it. I found it is a very minimal damage loss overall due to its increased duration to 30 seconds over 20 seconds, but the speed boost did come in handy for several sections of the dungeon. Not really for trash. I have channeled acceleration for trash to give me speed, but for some of the boss fights, I did want a little bit of speed as well. So it was worth it to me for that. Here on the first boss, there is a second hard mode feature where you can burn his book after activating the hard mode. This just makes him angry and his attacks hit for much higher than they would normally without burning it. It isn't required for the trifecta run, but since he's only the first boss, we decided we'd go ahead and include it in our run. So for this fight, I'm using Yondir's Might and Pillar of Nern with Black Rose Prison Dual Wield on the front bar. Like I mentioned, not technically the highest possible DPS, but I really wanted something that had a bit of extra tankiness to it and was a setup that I wouldn't have to think about while I was doing all the mechanics of the fight. Something I could just slap on, get good damage from, and focus on what I needed to do for each encounter. I messed around with Whirl of the Depths a little bit in place of Yondir, and it was pretty good, but I felt like there was a bit too much movement for the fights, and I was missing a fair bit of damage from it. Got mine. Come on. Come on. Last bomb. Best 
Definitely got to get that sweet loot. Okay, that one was juicy. Back off, big man. And for the second boss, I'm using Yandir's Might with Azerblight and a Maelstrom Staff back bard with the One Piece Falcon and the Mora's Whispers Mythic. There are a ton of adds on this fight, so we actually had both of our DPS in Azerblight and it worked out pretty well. Plague Break might be good too if you are getting the adds down quick enough, but I didn't test that out for this fight. Or another option would be possibly just to focus single target on the boss and go for a setup better suited for that if your cleave is good enough as is without letting the adds get out of hand. I'm not sure if you're left. I have it. Always oh, seems to come out of that lava. Lasers.
though, I ain't dead. Yeah, we killed it. Another one might spawn though. Okay. Try to keep an eye out. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't see it, so I wasn't sure. Yeah. Yeah, another one on your left. Got it. You sperm boss. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it seems like if it dies, it'll just spawn another one bit quickly, so... Yeah, yeah. Let's see if portal works this time. Uh, one more guy. Yeah, there's that guy that is on the far other side of the room and I... I can't reach him with chains until he actually comes to us. Sunday. Out for the flesh out crew, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we never saw this before. Don't think we've had those AOEs on the trash. So he just did it. He only spawned one AOE. Yeah, he only did it on you. Is it? Is it like a cleave thing? Like maybe. I just have Trying. to face him, Keep face him distance, away. I guess. Yeah. Or I just I'll just face him away. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, stay on the Flash Astronaut's back. Stay on his tight loincloth. Mm. Ooh. He only spawned one circle, and it was hmm. on me. He did. He did punch me in the face once before you got him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> All right, right banner check. I was really scared he's gonna do that mechanic on me. Give me one second to change something. For this last boss, mostly the same setup as the first, except I slotted hardened armor to add a little bit more survivability for me. We don't have a warden in the group, so there is no frost cloak going. And I figured playing a little bit safer on a fight that has a lot of outgoing damage would be my preferred route and worth giving up a dot. All right. Everyone ready? Yeah, ready.
pushed in too. For this rune. percent for big spider he's pushed Rune out Let's clear. Ooh, Nina. Yeah, I'm gone in a moment. It's fine. You kick her in? Almost trap. Wait for trap. Yep. Oh. Let's walk. Don't yeah. run. Lock. Stay together. Oh, I don't see anything. Careful. <laughs> Stay in the middle. Alright, we're good. Oh, 
Oh, hello. She just put it right to you? Yeah. <laughs> Give me two. Block. Watch out for cone. Yeah, yeah. Out like this. Wait. <laughs> it's not jinx anything. Okay. There we go. There we go. We have nice. Oh. Oh god, the meteor. Block. <laughs> okay, I need to make that timer go away if combat ends. Alright. Oh. Holy crap, my heart. Yes. Did I get that room cover neck, Nina, or did you bind it? Oh, sorry, I bond. Oh wait, no, no mind. I got one myself. Just saw. I found it. That's all good. Woo! Oh, okay. Alright. Thank god. Yeah, thank god indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I did not want to have to run all that back again. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Alright. Nice job, everyone. Did. Thanks a bunch for watching. I want to give a shout out to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. The contributions help a ton to keep the website and YouTube channel going. And a special thanks to Nicholas, Simon, Cougars Bay and the Cougar City Guild, the Order of War Guild, Cantankerous Cat, Shady, Iffy, Blake Winnet 16, Mordecai 1212, Santanico, Vedridi, Florian, Phoenix, Nolandia, Unemployed, Cresceliana, Cha Cha, and Technical KO. Thanks again, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Uh, bye.